Okay. Right, Matthew. So you, it's on. So you've got a rectangular lamina. By lamina, we just mean something which is basically two dimensional. So it doesn't have a big thickness. And I want to know how to flick that around. So a nice example of trying to show that would be a meter stick. Now I'm not going to take down the big paragraph. The big paragraph says find a moment of inertia of a rectangular lamina L and of mass M through an axis going through its midpoint perpendicular to the, uh, the rod itself or something like that. So that's what you would be told, and you would be told to show that it is 1 over 3 ml squared. So it's as if I had an axis of rotation to my 50 centimeter mark, which is here, which would basically mean that this guy would rotate in that direction. And I would show it's 1 over 3 ml squared. So Ross, you're going to start us off. It comes up every year, 50, so it's 40% of the full question, and all you've got to do is round it off. Start me off, Ross. Uh, the fine roll and uh, the legal mass over the area. The fine rho, so it's just mathematically, we're just going to come along and say rho is equal to mass over area. So from that, we can say that the uh, mass m is equal to b. What do with it? Call it, it doesn't, it won't. So I first multiply my area, and the oh. area in my case is the width, lint by the width, which is 4 kL. What do we do with that? Um, we say that delta m is equal to... Similarly, we can say a small mass, so a small mass here is going to be equal to what? Uh, the rho 2k delta x. Rho times a small area, and the small area is like a shaded area here, and the shaded area is 2k by delta x. Yeah. What are we going to do with this m is rho times 4k l? Say that rho is equal to... Nope. Use this where? Later. Later. So basically you put that off to the side, you're not going to look at it again. Yeah. But while I've got it, I look at my dm is rho times 2k by the x, and then I go back and I start my real form, which is i equals what? Sigma. Sigma. Uh, delta m r squared. Delta m by r squared. And we're not going to go through what delta m means, we're not going to go through where this comes from, we're just going to go through nice and quickly. So we'll finish it off. Ross, what's my next step? Uh, that goes to sigma rho 2k delta x r squared. My delta m I take from here. So it's rho 2k delta x times r squared. Or sorry, my r squared becomes what? R squared becomes x squared. So okay. So next step? Uh, each, uh, that can uh, become uh, in integral of rho 2k x squared dx. Okay, so instead of an integrate, a sigma sign, I'm putting an integration. It basically means I'm making this width smaller and smaller and smaller. I take out my constants, which were what? Rho 2k. Rho 2k. And I'm left with? x squared uh, delta x equals dx. x squared goes to x squared here. My delta x, when I make things smaller and smaller and smaller, I reduce, replace that by a dx. And then the limits are minus l and l. Minus l and l, because basically I'm taking that small dash, I'm taking it from here all the way to the center, and from there all the way to the center. So minus l there, minus l there. Is the bell gone? Yeah. All right, so we just finish it off nice and quickly. So minus l to l. So when I do integrate, I get rho 2k, integrate this. Um, x cubed over 3. x cubed over 3 from L to minus L. That goes to 2k rho L cubed over 3. And if I put my limits in there? 2 times L, okay. 2 times L. 2 L cubed over 3, which is equal to 4k rho L cubed over 3, so I'm almost finished. What do I do finally? Put rho in. Yeah, rho is equal to m over 4 kl. Rho is equal to, over here, rho is equal to m over 4 kl. So if I replace that by m over 4, 4 kl, I finish up with i equals, I'm going to skip straight into that stage. Oh, 4 over 3. No, it's the third. It's the third, because it's going through the middle to be a third. 1 over 3 in that square. So basically, you substitute for rho you substitute M over 4KL and reduce this bit down. Thanks, sir.